to get an attempt at a winning field goal. Jones, middle of the field, and that is intercepted, and it's perfect. He comes away with the football. I have to admit, I don't think you would have been able to do it. No Andy Dalton or Giovanni Bernard, and you are on the brink of beating the Pittsburgh Steelers. Finally, you can end that streak of years without a playoff win and emerge from low Calvin. No longer will people rub in your face that the Bengals haven't done anything since the 1980s. You won't have to look at the shit show that was the 90s and the early 2000s when you were the premier low cow of the league as a constant reminder of what is your fate. It is almost over. All you have to do is run the clock out and you are victorious. Here's Hill. Nope. Jarvis Jones falls out! Shazier had it for a moment, and now it's picked up by Cockrell. Oh, God, not this again. To have the game so, so close to victory and make yet another basic mistake has the potential for disaster. Thoughts of the past 10 years are rushing into the heads of Bengals fans everywhere. Nearly every year was full of postseason promise, only to crumble, choke, or blow away games with amazing fashion. Carson Palmer's knee getting destroyed at home in 2006 against the Steelers, a stunning loss to Mark Sanchez and the Jets, giving up 20 unanswered points to the goddamn Chargers, and being humiliated by the Houston Texans. Twice. You haven't even made it out of the wildcard game in all of these years. The season can't end in yet another failure. This year has to be different. It has to be. They're forced to bring out a Big Ben loaded up with enough painkillers to put an elephant in a coma. The Steelers cannot humiliate the Bengals again. Vontez Perfect. He had to pick this fucking time to try and kill somebody. On one of the biggest plays of his career, he egregiously makes a blatant helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit. He went from hero to goat in world record time. This is nearly every goddamn week with this guy. Don't even argue with me about his abilities. Perfect has been trying to target people since his rookie season. The NFL preaches about player safety, yet this guy is still on the field? This man is a total thug, plain and simple. The only true potential he has is to share a jail cell with Greg Hardy in 10 years. Get this piece of shit out of the league and take Mike Mitchell with you. Can this get any worse? and shoving, and another penalty flag is thrown. Are you motherfucking kidding me, Pac-Man? You hit the goddamn ref when you know damn well another penalty will put them in field goal range? Are you fucking dense? All we kept hearing about was how Adam Jones was doing so well to contain his emotions, and he does this? It doesn't even matter if Joey Porter was trolling people on the field. You do not touch the ref. Even worse are your post-game rants. You got fucking, uh, uh... Jerry Port in the middle of the fucking field talking shit to everybody, and then when somebody say something to him, he don't even post to be on the fucking field. Was Antonio Brown actually hurt? Man, Antonio Brown was not hurt. You think he was faking it? I know he was faking it. Go back and look at the play. If you go back in slow motion to play, you tell me that, that uh, Vontez hit him in the head, or did his shoulder pad barely touch him? I think he need a Grammy Award for that one. <laughs> Fucking Pac-Man, you had more goddamn dignity when you were in TNA. With a kick, then in all likelihood would win it if he makes it, and the kick is true. I can't believe this actually happened. Even a year after the fact, I am shocked that this whole thing played out like it did. They had the game won. The Bungles foobarred a near pristine situation that they reached a level of pain that the Browns can only dream of. This is a goddamn disaster. Marvin Lewis can't control his players at all. They invested in talented yet highly volatile athletes and they have sown unbelievable failure. Things need to change immediately. But do you want to know what happened? Yeah. Fucking nothing. At least five heads deserve to be underneath a guillotine, yet the Bengals went along as if nothing happened. Marvin Lewis is still head coach. Vontez Burfecht is still here. Pac-Man got a goddamn contract extension in his early 30s. And they rewarded the fans all right with a 6-9-1 record. Once again, nothing will probably happen. 
Mike Brown is too goddamn cheap to do what needs to be done. He's just too busy having the entire city of Cincinnati in a vice grip over the next few decades with a brand new stadium. The Bengals went from being a lol cow to being a lol cow in a much, much more painful fashion. Vontez, you should have just stayed in that goddamn locker room. The first drive in the second half. The Bengals with it. Breaking it into the second half. 